Welcome back to After School Reviews. Today we're having a look at the Marvel Legends series Deadpool. So this is the figure. Let's try and get a zoom in here. The figure there in the packaging. Comes with two katanas as you can see. A taco, uh, an extra head sculpt, a rocket launcher, some pistols, a knife, some guns right there. I'm really excited to see everything that's in here. On the side it shows a picture of Deadpool and some gold top has a Deadpool symbol, or shiny, and the back, I think, has the Deadpool symbol. I think I saw that when I was uh, going home. It says X-Men on the front. It says Build-A-Figure there. This does not come with the Build-A-Figure piece, though. Uh, it also says Marvel Legends. has a image of the picture there, and it has a little read thingy right there. It says, I don't know if I can get the focus, I Date Me. It has Deadpool starring himself a taco. Juggernaut pieces. Deadpool does not come with one. Bottom, that's practically it. So now we're going to have a look at this figure opened and out of its packaging. Here is Deadpool. I'm going to probably try and adjust this camera here. I'm going to show you all the accessories he comes with, which is an alternate head. If I can get this to focus. Now, I don't know if he's supposed to have uh, eyes or not. I never really got to Google that part yet, but uh, if this is what it's supposed to look like, then. Uh, I think this is probably the thing that has a lot of shading, and the sculpt on here is practically the same as everything else. It's really sharp and good, but the sculpt or the you can see the shading on here. Uh, they've actually added shading. It's not great, but they've added it. And I don't think this figure has any except this. It also comes with two katanas here. On the ends here, it's kind of a black handle with kind of a dotted, I don't know, kind of like a, see that okay? I don't know if you can or not. It's kind of difficult to get this thing to focus. Alright, uh, if not I can probably show that later off in the video. Also it comes with a knife. This one's actually pretty sharp at the end. And since it's so small, it's kind of like thicker. It's kind of a thicker plastic here, and it's really kind of sharp at the end. I shoved it in the uh, holster the wrong way. Also comes with a taco here. It's actually kind of squishy. Like the same material as hands are made of. See that there? Can't bring that any closer. It also comes with a boxing glove that attaches to the rocket <clears throat> excuse me rocket launcher it's cold weather it's so not helping my throat for these reviews scope there something weird peg there and exiting port also comes with a shotgun looks like the uh, striker I don't know what that's from the uh, world war 2 I mean minor warfare 2 you can see there how it glistens, and it's like made out of some, like right there you can see the swirls. It's made out of some weird chromish material that looks really cheap. And a weird gun, kind of like Advanced Warfare, so this reminds me of the, one of the sniper rifles. Uh, so I'm not really, I don't, I don't really like this gun at all. But then he comes with the pistols. And with Deadpool figures, I mean this actually, the ones I have, this is probably pretty good uh, that he comes with the pistols. And you'll, you might know what I'm talking about. Especially this is Marvel Legends and the head sculpt on this one it reminds me of another Deadpool. But uh, I'll go ahead and show you how you can house all these weapons onto this figure. Not all the weapons, but uh, there are some weapons that you can house on here. Like the katanas here. Well, well, screw that. How about we just look at the figure first and then do that. I'll get as close as I can here to the... Well, maybe. I'm going to have to... Here's the figure, up closer to the camera, you kind of see the general details here, the figure, um, some boots here, the back, some reds, grenades, these are really weird, because usually you see them crossed uh, like that, um, I guess you could do that, but I mean, yes, you, know, uh, you kind of could, all you'd have to do is hot glue it, or glue it or something, just glue it like that, uh, but I don't think they'd fit, to be honest, you can probably break that off and then glue them a different way. Closer to the head sculpt here. 
this head sculpt looks exactly like the Marvel. Oh, I, I'm not good with these unless they're NECA. This version, Marvel Legends. Yeah, Marvel Legends over there, the 112 scale. Uh, well, the 12 inch one, not 112. But this looks just like that head sculpt. Like, even if you just zoomed in right here and proportioned it with the other one, they'd probably look identical. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that it's the same head sculpt. And why I say that is the body's not the same. I mean, it could be, but the this this one doesn't have the thing crossing like this. And I think it's wearing a different belt. Uh, may or not be. I was looking off of it off camera. I don't think the other one comes with grenades either on the side, like this one does. And I'm thinking about shading this whole thing with black in the pockets. There's just like a uh, black wash over all these pouches here. And just give this thing a better look. Not pr Probably not over the red because it's a suit. And I think the wrinkles aren't going to be filled with nastiness. But I feel like the, those are because it's kind of like a leathery or something. And the boots here have like loose straps, which I like. I like how this looks kind of uh, worn. I don't know if it's supposed to or not. But those are like the shin guards, I think. And then here's the place where you store the knife, store the pistol in here, and another pistol right there. I have to cut that first part out. So, <laughs> show the articulation here. It's actually pretty good. The arms will go up about so. You can pivot them up this way if you want to. Oh, well. Oh man, I hate doing that. Uh, the head here goes forward, back, and it's on one of these pegs like that. So I think that's also what the other one was on. So I'm thinking it's got to be the same figure, but this one actually I think has a better bonus because this one has pistols. That's what I was trying to get at. Uh, they're crappy pistols, like the handle things right there is not painted black, but it's fine. We also have an app crunch if you didn't notice. It's really obvious right there, but I, I like that we can see it at least. I know it's there. It also has a swivel right here. So you can go full 360 with Deadpool. Uh, you can go a little bit more back too. Full ab crunch, pretty nice. He's stalking on somebody to kill him. Uh, they're also right here at the... I don't know what the heck any of these muscles are. And the elbows are double jointed. Try not to break it. Kind of see that there. And right here, I think, is any of this part a swivel? I think just up here is then a swivel. Is this not in focus? I've not been noticing that. Uh, and then down here at the hand, it'll bend like this. Also, I think this here's the more loose straps. I didn't know they were on the shoes. That's why I was really impressed, because I liked them right here. And then the hand here has like a little pinky out. Like he's like, I don't know, like what is it called? Like fancy tea person. And then Deadpool silver right there. And then the legs will go out. Well, that's not too, that's not far. But they'll also swivel right there. And the knees are double jointed. So that's pretty nice for Deadpool. See that? And right about here where this part is, uh, you can see that part sticks out a little bit. And you can spin that. And the foot here. Well, I think go forward, back, and it also tilts like kind of like that. So that is the articulation on Deadpool, and that's pretty good for a comparison from this Deadpool. And I don't know, just a size comparison. I mean, I know because I'm used to this one, and I thought it was going to be about that same scale. But, I mean, he does look more Deadpoolish than this one. I mean, it's like, oh, Deadpool, but he's just a lot of muscle. I feel like that's a stylized version, and this is more just straight-up Deadpool and everything. Uh, that one's fine, though. But I do prefer this new one that uh, they have released. Finally, we're at the part of the video where I'm going to show you how to house everything on him. Slide these into here. Be very delicate, because these, these katanas feel really fragile and thin. Put one in each of these here. Like these are really thin katanas and really short. And if it's not to focus, I mean, you can probably know what I'm doing here just by what you can see. To focus it to put anything in him or on him. Uh, uh, 
put his pistols here. And the other version, the big one, they stuck his like pistol handles, like the handle in there. But it wasn't a real pistol. And they gave you these stupid red guns with this symbol on it. And the way you'd hold it, you didn't really get to see the symbol. It depended which one you wanted to hold and how you wanted to hold it. And the way I wanted to hold it, you really couldn't see the symbol. And I really didn't like that. Put this over here. It's not really too hard. Just make sure you line it up. Like, oh, that goes that way. And then slide it in there. It's kind of difficult getting this one in here because it's like hard plastic. Oh, does it go in there all the way? Yeah. So Deadpool with all his stuff on, I think, looks more Deadpoolish. Oh, okay, there we go. I just see that now. He looks like really cool. Really, really cool. Want to put the taco into his hand? You can do that. I don't know how we're going to do the thumbnail for this video. If you liked it, give me a like already on the video. While I'm putting this taco in here, write a comment. Put the bell icons on. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Eh, there we go. Kind of got the taco in there. Sort of. Holds the taco kind of good. Not great. But his hands are really rubbery, so you can get him to hold a this stupid rifle really good. Well, not really great. I was comparing it to the shotgun, but I remember this one has kind of a weird... I mean, he looks okay with him. Like, he looks like Deadpool. Like, he's with Cable or something. Like, he stole Cable's gun. But I don't really like that. I'd really... Well, I, I you know, I don't, I, don't, I don't care, I think. I think that's the problem here. I really do not care what Deadpool has as a weapon. You know, like, here's Deadpool with the other version of the gun from the other Deadpool figure, and I think, I think this looks pretty cool. I mean, I do like how that looks. You can also take, I mean, I can, I, I can even probably give him the pistols. So, I, I mean, these pistols, I think, look like garbage is what people were saying, Mr. Jewel Cheese. But, uh, they do. They do. They kind of fit in there, too, weird. I think you can really swap out anything you wanted to on this figure. Uh, with another scale like this, like uh, like uh, Mr. Evil Cheese said, the Punisher weapon. And that's true. But if you don't have any other weapons but this, I think you're going to be pleased. Um, because it's not horrible. Um, if you're wanting to get those cool toys out of the crypt photographs, you're probably not going to get those kind of photographs of this figure like I am. I just got this figure because I was like, ooh, Deadpool. That looks pretty dope. He still looks dope, even though the pistols aren't painted correctly. I think he looks. Hmm, I think he looks fine. Uh, I'm not gonna put him with his other weapons because those are kind of difficult and they don't hand hold well. But I will swap out his hand real fast or his head. No, oh, that I don't think it goes on all the way. Pop the other head on. Looks like Freddy Krueger. And a budget. Oh well. Went on all the way. Yep. How we're gonna do the thumbnail? I don't really want to use this head, so I'll just film the. Ugh. I'm not gonna cut a lot of the stuff out in this video. So I mean, there he is. Head's okay. I really feel like he's like a demon or something. You see that? He got like orange eyes. I don't know if that's supposed to be normal, but I did not check that when I was at the place I was getting this from. I mean, he. I. I do. I do like this figure a lot. So I feel like you're going to see him a lot on my Facebook. Or I mean on my Instagram. And on Action Figure Sanctuary. I mean, because I haven't posted on there in a long time. But I think he looks a, a really good. And I'm pretty sure this whole thing, I'm going to have to cut this whole video down. Um, and it's going to be still pretty long. Like a long video. But I'm also going to do one more thing for you guys. I'm just going to put the other pistols into his hand from the other version. And I'll cut the camera this time and we'll see this now.